This is the Tropic Pianist Gamers podcast, episode 32. Today I'm interviewing special guest Kirsty, Kirsty Crouch. Kirsty, would you like to introduce yourself properly? Yes, I'd love to. Thank you for having me, Jen. It's really nice to be to be here. Um, so my name's Kirsty, and I am um well, I've been in skincare and interesting kind of skincare, spiritual skincare, self-care for a few years now. I um recently or I'm soon gonna be starting um affiliate with Neil's Yard Remedies um obviously with recent changes to Body Shop and I also um help support um busy mums and women with self-care tools through my affiliate um business link with Love Autumn Rose which has lots of really nice products and things on um and yeah that's I do that around my full-time job um live at home with my husband and many pets and yeah that's pretty much me in a nutshell you sound quite busy then yeah <laughs> yeah, super definitely... important. yeah yeah definitely so what what led you to getting into skincare in the first place then um I started probably quite I guess fairly young I I'd been always loved animals and always been interest in skincare and really love skincare products and I wanted when I first sort of started using products I wanted ones that obviously hadn't been tested on animals is really important for me and at the time Body Shop was kind of the only company around that was doing that and then obviously as time has gone on and I've kind of developed my knowledge I'm a registered veterinary nurse so I've always been I say love animals been very interested in science behind things and why things work and for me skincare is a massive part of self-care I've always struggled with confidence in how I look and so it's just been something that's always been really important to me and I enjoy sharing and helping people understand why certain products do work and actually getting the most out of it um so it's always been it's kind of just been something that's grown um and then from the spiritual side obviously in the last couple of years in my own mental health I found that that's really helped kind of incorporating that and self-care as well cool so self-care spiritual skincare all ties into one it's similar to yeah. my my yeah. adventure as well of course with the confidence thing yeah so how how has it helped you the most being with the body shop at the time it's it just kind of gave me that especially through obviously through the dreaded C word, um, it kind of gave me that sort of stability as something that was just a constant that I had that I could use to sort of help people and help take my mind off stuff and feel like I was, you know, doing something. I was furloughed for a lot of it, so I was kind of stuck at home just doing the same things and running out of things to do. So it kind of gave me something else to, you know, keep learning about and keep growing my knowledge. And obviously now moving over to Neil's Yard, I'm hoping that that's going to kind of help me to grow and expand it even more. Um, and it's just the spiritual side. I've always loved like crystals and fossils and things like that anyway. And it's just kind of naturally grown and developed kind of how... I say for my own mental health and to how it can help with my own anxiety and depression and my own chronic health problems and things like that um so it's kind of just naturally sort of developed into into something that's really important for me um in my daily kind of weekly self-care activities and then wanting to help other people with that as well yeah so you won an award for something recently didn't you do you want to talk about that yeah, so last year, um, 2023, I was shortlisted in the Community Champion Awards for um, in the Female Business Award, and I was nominated in a couple of other categories. Um, I was a finalist in the Women's Business Award for Small Business Women of the Year, um, and this year I've been nominated in the Women's Business Award. Yeah, Women's Business Award for um the positivity award as well so the finals are uh, october the online finals so yeah i'm just waiting for the 
Bank Mint's come up and then I've been nominated um, for that this year again, which is really exciting. It's, yeah, it's really exciting. It's a massive kind of pat on the back for me. It's a massive honor to know that people, you know, do appreciate what I do and the help that I can offer. And it's just something that I'm really passionate about. So to have that recognition, even to be shortlisted and, you know, be a finalist is is something that I'm really proud of. Well, best of luck for that then for October. Um, so you said you started quite a while ago with the skincare. Do you have a favourite memory of being an ambassador for Body Shop? Um, I think it's just one of the big things for me was just I was so passionate about the getting behind the ethos and just the the sustainability aspects and just kind of the the just knowing that you're being a part of helping to look after our planet and help other people that aren't as fortunate and that are in marginalised and disadvantaged communities. And Neil's Yard Remedies do do a lot of work with like plant helping to maintain and look after our rainforests as well, which is something that is a massive thing for me. And, you know, having that, making sure we still have that environment and that habitat for our wildlife so that my children and so the future generations actually can benefit from that and can see it and not just you know it's not just having to go to to zoos and things to to see it so it's just knowing that you're doing something like that and that you know just sharing with people that just by supporting the products they're obviously helping themselves and supporting me but it's supporting something like that as a part of the bigger picture as well and we all know that climate change is a massive thing and it's just any any little thing that we can do to support that and to help that is something that I really try and do in in my business and my everyday life as well yeah same same it's great to uh, support yeah. the bigger causes on the planet, even yeah. if you can't directly do hands-on stuff yeah, yourself. Definitely. At least you can help indirectly. Yeah, that's the same with me. Um, so what was the most valuable lesson you've learned on your journey? I think, as I say, I've, I've always been somebody that has struggled with my own self-confidence and believing in myself. And I think it's just, especially through the spiritual side of things as well, it's helped me to grow my own strength and keep kind of going towards my goals and my vision and just massively helped with self-belief um through some quite difficult times okay so based on that um if someone out there is struggling and stuck what tips would you offer them i think the i've always the biggest thing for me has always been to reach out to somebody um i think as much as we have moved forward a lot i think there's still for me a long way to go in the mental health side and i've always been somebody that is a big advocate for speaking out and just reaching out to somebody because that's often the first stage in helping to identify what the problem is and where you can get support and even if it's just making you know carving out time for yourself to do look into things like meditation and it isn't something that works for everyone but it's something that I think is always worth exploring and you know you don't have to be kind of massively into crystals and that kind of thing to still have that comfort from it and but I think the more we can talk about it and actually make it become more of the norm to just openly discuss our self-care our mental well-being on a daily basis is something that i think is really important and often the first stage is just reaching out to somebody even if it's a friend or a family member or a therapist whoever it can really help to identify and just be the first stage to you know getting that support and getting tools and products and if it is you know a specific skincare worry that's just you know reach out to somebody like me or to you know just ask the questions it's what we're here for it's what we're here for each other for and it's something that I really like to try and just encourage people to do cool so what makes you different as a skincare specialist 
I think for me, it's I I like to try and provide a much more kind of a very personalised experience and personalised guidance, but also look at spiritual skincare is part of it. So you know how we can work with like the moon phases and things like that, but also very much the science behind it and actually finding each customer, each person is you know, they're not just somebody who's buying, they're somebody that, you know, I like to look at each of their goals and needs and really just give that tailored kind of one-to-one guidance and support to give them the products that, you know, are going to give them value for money, are going to help their self-confidence, help their well-being. And, you know, I like to think I give kind of a much more one-to-one personal service than maybe possibly some of the other brands and obviously the spiritual side I think is something that's quite unique as well with the self-care side of things that are kind of tied into it yeah it's certainly different I've not come across a spiritual skincare person obviously I'm a musical skincare person yeah. <laughs> um, so what what is your vision or your goals going forward for this year and in the future I think so I mean, from a personal perspective, we are, you know, I do want to have kids, do and start a family and kind of look towards things like getting a house and holidays and that kind of thing. But from a business perspective, I do want to just increase my customer base, help as many people as I can, get out there doing more events, podcasts, things like that, you know, sharing, kind of letting people know what I'm about and just hopefully aim to just get that consistent income and consistent kind of word of mouth and value for my business as well sounds like quite a lot of goals you've got in mind there yeah. exciting future yeah, ahead. Don't, don't do anything small <laughs> brilliant we've always got a dream big that was my yeah, own story the other day on my instagram so yeah dream big um so if people would like to look you up and find you where can they find you um, so you can find me on TikTok. Um, I'm also on Instagram, Kirsty J Crouch, and on Facebook. My Facebook group is Real and Raw Skincare for Busy Mums and Over 35s. I made my slightly change the name at some point. I'm still working on that bit. Um, but yeah, you can find me in my Facebook group, Instagram, um, obviously Facebook profile, TikTok will probably be the main ones that I tend to be on quite frequently. <laughs> Cool. So thank you for being my guest today. I hope you've enjoyed our conversation and all the best for your future. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. This episode is sponsored by Claire Goldsmith. Claire's mission is to bring ladies together online and in person where she wants to show them how being creative is a great way to relax. As ladies we rarely take time to switch off from the everyday life and its stresses. Let Claire help you find a way to escape, switch off and unwind. Claire will run online and in person courses from one-off creations or making your own art journal. To join her friendly community you can find Claire at Crafty Circle with Betty and Grace on Facebook.